Hi and welcome to this uh, Composite C1 uh, video. My name is Marcus Vintz and I'm going to be talking about uh, page types in Composite uh, C1. Uh, Composite C1 1.3 uh, introduce the concept of page types uh, and page types enable uh, site developers to relate pages and structure, layout and metadata. Uh, the target audience are uh, web professionals uh, interested in uh, Composite C1, and I expect uh, this to take about uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so let's uh, dive right into the uh, user interface. For uh, users uh, familiar with our system, uh, you'll find that uh, uh, a new uh, uh, folder has been added to the layout perspective called page types. Now on this uh, website I've uh, created uh, uh, a few different kinds of page types. Um, the default uh, page type which we create when uh, sites are operated. Um, and uh, a page type uh, showing uh, specific features uh, of the system. Before I dive into the technical parts of how to manage page types, uh, I'll just quickly show you uh, uh, how page type can uh, act on your website. So, uh, for instance, uh, uh, if you uh, want to uh, have a blog on your website and have uh, multiple blogs, uh, then uh, you can use our blog module, and uh, it basically consists of a, uh, a standard uh, a Composite C1 page uh, where you uh, embed a function call, uh, which will render a blog, um, and um, and then below uh, your uh, page uh, you have a folder where you can uh, start to uh, add uh, blog entries uh, and in this situation we have uh, just two entries and uh, one of the entries with some comments in it. Now in order to do uh, to do a new blog uh, with, the, with the page type feature uh, all I need to do as a user is uh, say well I want to add a page and I can change the type to the blog page type and click finish. What this does for me uh, as a user is that it will automatically add the, uh, the function which is driving the block uh, on my page and it's also automatically attaching uh, my, uh, my blog entries folder so I can go and uh, add a new blog entry and uh, basically start blogging. Now let's uh, take a quick look at uh, the way uh, block page type is defined. Uh, it's, uh, it has a name. Uh, we can uh, turn it off so it's not uh, visible in uh, selection lists. Um, we can uh, uh, define a hierarchy in, uh, in page types. So uh, if I add a new page below a block page, I can control what type of uh, page type that should be by default. I can also uh, attach uh, folders and applications uh, below the pages, um, data folders and, and data applications. So in this uh, particular instance, I'm uh, attaching the block application, which is the element which is uh, making sure I get uh, these folders right here. I can also do restrictions on uh, what layouts uh, the users should, um, uh, should have. Um, in their selection list, uh, and I can uh, specify a layout that should be selected by default, which match uh, the functionality uh, of this page type. Um, and also, uh, I can uh, uh, control uh, where the page type can be used uh, around the system. So uh, I can say that it should be only allowed as a home page or only as a sub page, and uh, I can also uh, restrict it to be uh, available only below. Uh, certain um, other page types. Also I'm uh, able to sp uh, specify specific metadata fields. I'll uh, show a demo of that in a moment. Uh, but also uh, when we added uh, the page uh, of, uh, of the block page type it, it gave me some default content. Uh, I can easily add uh, default contents um, in the system. And, uh, and go right up what what the users should uh, should see. Um, so 
if I take this and save and I go create a uh, another page of the specific type, well, uh, I'll get this content uh, as, uh, as a template. So you can also use a uh, page type just to give uh, users uh, predefined content that they can uh, they can work with, and that can be HTML tables with uh, specific styling and, 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 and function calls like this, which is a pre-configured function call. The so user, of course, I can always double-click it and uh, and change uh, uh, the settings uh, for the feature. Also, if we look at the metadata fields, I added some to uh, to the news page here. Um, I uh, have some test data here, I'll just get rid of. So uh, on our news page we had a metadata field uh, where we specified uh, where I specified that I want uh, a specific uh, piece of uh, metadata to show up and I want it to be labeled uh, uh, news item settings and I want it to show up on a specific tab when editing a page called news settings. So of course, if I go and uh, add a item here, in this instance, we want a news page. I'm getting a tab called uh, News Settings. Now, if I go look at some of the other pages I've been uh, working with, I don't have a News Settings tab. So this is specific for my type. Now, if you should uh, come into situations where, where you actually needed to uh, to change uh, the type of a page, well, you uh, you basically just uh, go ahead and do that. On the settings tab, we have a selector where you can change it. So if you notice now, right now I only have four tabs. If I go and say, well, I want this to be a news page, well, there are some news uh, metadata uh, that I need to specify in there. The field pops up. So, what we got here is uh, the ability to go and uh, and define a concept called uh, page types. Uh, you don't have to, um, but uh, you can do so and uh, and, and use it to uh, both guide the user in respect to uh, default templates, uh, default uh, 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 type selections to have uh, below uh, specific pages. Um, and you can also do it to attach metadata, which is uh, specific to uh, uh, some functionality. And you can also have applications and data folders automatically attached. So, so it's really easy for the uh, the user uh, managing content to uh, to uh, to do advanced stuff in here. Again, the design, of course, is uh, placed in uh, in layout templates, which is. Uh, uh, standard markup, and uh, we haven't done any uh, mix up of functionality and layout. You have your pure layout down here, and you and you go and, uh, and bind functionality to page types instead of uh, templates, um, but can restrict a page type to specific uh, templates if, if, if you need to. So this is uh, basically uh, the page type concept uh, in Composite C1. A quick intro. Um, we hope it will turn out to be uh, the thing that uh, you uh, feel you've been missing all the time once you start using it. Uh, we've, we're very glad to introduce it in uh, Composite uh, 1.3. So just to run through the, uh, the, the features uh, of page types, uh, it gives the developers uh, uh, the ability to, uh, to attach specific metadata to, uh, to page types. Uh, uh, control what layout template should be available uh, on a page type. Um, whether a page type can be used to create a subsite, like a new home page, uh, or uh, only sub pages. You can uh, work with uh, hierarchy in uh, uh, of interrelated page types, uh, like for instance having a page type for uh, uh, like a job database, and below that you could have a job postings if you wanted to to uh, uh, describe jobs as pages. Uh, you can have default HTML content uh, specified on page types, and uh, you can have page folders and applications automatically attached to uh, uh, to a specific uh, page type. 
I turn this enable uh, the developer to uh, to go empower the user so they can do a guided selection of page types when they create new pages. They automatically get the metadata field which uh, uh, relates to this page. Uh, and uh, they uh, they don't have to uh, be careful about what the layout templates to select because uh, the developer can guide them in, in this selection as well. They get some default content uh, which can accelerate their, 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 their workflow. Uh, and uh, if uh, any page folders or applications are required uh, to to obtain uh, specific functionality, well, uh, they get included automatically. You can uh, read more about uh, Composite T1 on our website and our documentation site, or uh, follow us on Twitter.